All right, today we are going to be taking a look at one of the G1 mini bots. Figured I'd transition into doing these guys for Sundays for a little while here. Today we are looking at G1 Swerve. Swerve was one of the 1986 mini bots who was uh, a, a repaint, a slight remold basically of um, Generation 1 Gears, who was one of the 1984 mini bots. And uh, yeah, he turns into a little red and white truck here. Very cute. He's got the uh, the rub symbol on the hood here, which is, it's kind of hot where I am. So it kind of has done it on its own. But, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with these, you rub them and then the heat sensitive uh, stuff in there reveals whether he's an Autobot or a Decepticon, which you probably already know. But yeah, <laughs> especially since he's got an Autobot logo, <laughs> just a regular sticker. But yeah, this is... um. This isn't an original G1 Swerve. This is one of the uh, the Walmart reissues that came out last year. And uh, I'm not sure if this is particular to mine or if this is just like how the mold usually is, but like I can't quite get the legs, both legs to sort of sit parallel in place here, which is kind of annoying, but like, eh, whatever. It's a, it's a G1 figure, so it's not that big a deal. Um, I can show him off with a more recent incarnation of Swerve. Here is the... Uh, I believe it was Generations Thrilling 30 Swerve from a few years ago. Uh, he's a, the Legends class when they revamped the uh, the Legends class. And yeah, they look pretty good together. It's a, it's a nice update of the figure. Um, but yeah, to transform this guy, you take the legs here. And now mine, it, every time I flip the legs over, it makes this like really concerning plastic like snapping sound. Like... And it's not like any plastic is in there breaking because that happens every time I do it, but it's just kind of kind of an unpleasant snap. Um, oh, maybe it stopped. Maybe I actually did break something. And uh, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, and then it's got that trick where like when you rotate the leg around, it's got this little angled piece here that like sort of auto slides it to the left. That doesn't like really work on mine, so I kind of just have to, you know slide it over so that the, the legs are separated. And then you take the these sections here and you just pull them out. They kind of like slide out on a bit of an arc. Like it's a, it's a very slight arc, but it's not just like straight out. And there you have Swerve in his robot mode. And yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty cute. I love the, uh, the face sculpt here. Very simple guy, the nice chest sticker detail there. Uh, articulation wise, I mean, he's a G1 figure, so there's not a ton. Uh, the arms can rotate around here and then obviously move in and out on that transformation joint. The knees can bend, but uh, since his thins are his thins, his sh shins are so chunky that his, his knee bent is actually like further down towards the ground than him standing straight up. So it like doesn't really work for a running pose or like kneeling or anything like that. But uh, yeah, pretty cute. And show them off with the generation swerve here they are together and uh yeah you know it's a it's a nice update this guy is a bit more uh idw comics inspired than generation one toy inspired so there's definitely you know some differences like the, the color mainly right like he's much more of like a light pinky red and he is more of like a deep burgundy but uh yeah pretty pretty good update nonetheless and yeah, you know, I like these G1 minibots. They're they're simple. They kind of like they they fill the same sort of like uh slot that that bot bots have come to fill for me where they're like not really like part of my main collection, but like just kind of nice little cute simple figures that are cool to mess around with. And yeah, the minibots definitely embody that for me. Obviously, they came way before bot bots, but <laughs> um yeah. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do uh, these reviews pretty much every Sunday, and then I do BotBots reviews Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during the week. And uh, yeah, here we have Transformers G1 Swerve.